help Biafra. This is Biafra Liberation Army Network coming to you again. Please do subscribe, like, share, and comment. Think about when um, Ugo Chinere, this guy that looks as if he has sense. But Nigeria has dampened their senses. Their senses is like, oh, Jesus Christ, have mercy. It's as if they're not thinking from their head. Is it because of selfishness or greed? Why is it that they're not thinking right? Now you want to join Simon but to say there was no election. <laughs> After you foolishly came out to vote, you believed in mirage. Believing in Nigeria is believing in mirage. Something that is not real. Ugo Chinyere, Namdekanu, your brother, has suffered because he wants freedom for all of us. Now a younger brother to you, Simon Ema, is suffering. Fighting like a wounded lion. All of you are messing up. Join Biafra agitation. If you don't join it, they will see you as a fool because actually you're a fool if you don't join. Uzodema has siphoned and pocketed all of you. All of you. You say you're playing politics. But he has pocketed all your destinies in his pocket. Now, rocking you like, like, like ball. Fulani, Britain, rocking all of you. Rocking you and smoking you and sniffing you off like cigarettes. And you're not thinking. Is the only Namdekano and Simon Eber that would think? Is the only the youths that would know that Nigeria is not working? Why are you lamenting when your head has been cut, cut off? Support Biafra agitation or all of you who count you as Fulani and give you water, water. Give all of you counter pro max water, water. <laughs> Just listen to how he's lamenting here. Shamelessly what he's saying on the television. Nigeria is a fraud. Those that are believing in Nigeria are fraudulent. It's as simple as that. That's it. An election that came at a time where there was total breakdown of law and order, and people have even fled from the state. And then there was voter party, and then suddenly, uh, Uzodima, who came third in the last election, I claimed to have won with 540. Let me explain to you why I said this is madness, and you can use it to measure to say PDP or Labour Party. But there is no contest in the first place. You saw a total display of electoral madness. You saw attack on voters, attack on agents of political party. Some of them don't even before they come inside the collection center. You saw materials not getting to the police. This is the first time in our electoral process that people wake up, hijack a total, you know, four, five, fifteen laws and take it to a particular location. No accreditation, no voting, and then figures were, I was even, the, the 540 is low, they should have even made it 1.2 million or there about. This was a joke. Most of them have not won any legitimate mandate as long as after the election is concerned. And let me explain to you why it's very simple. This election, going by the provision of the electoral act, was supposed to be guided by a VIVAS accreditation. Yeah. So it means that if you are credit four, your vote should be four, if not three or two. Yeah. But when you are credit one, and your vote is 500, and you say it's called 540, that's madness. And I'll give you some few examples for you to understand. It's just seven examples for you to understand. And I want Nigerians who are also watching us to go to www.inekelectionresult.ng and also see for themselves. You go to a place like Israel World War One. Yeah. Accreditation is one. One, one accreditation by the people. One person. One person. Now look at the vote scored by Ezra The vote scored by the total vote cast, the vote scored by APC is 275. One accredited. And now we take it later, you go and check it. And in this particular area, the total number of registered voters we have here is 324. The people that voted is 328. 323, 320 voted. Three. For me, the investigation, about four people have died in this particular location. So how did you arrive at this nonsense that you call it election result? Is that how you win? Now you go to a place like uh, Omoa, where the governor comes from. Now, look at the number accredited by the beavers is 13. The vote the governor is calling here is 400. Is this what you call defeating of PDP? Now you go to a place like uh, uh, Okigwe. You know what is happening in Okigwe? The insecurity of people have fled their, their homes. Okigwe is turning the highest number ever in Imo history. 
No, I don't particularly hear the call of Amori. Look at the vote score. 409. Accreditation zero. Nobody was accredited. You can see there's no accreditation figure up here. Nobody was accredited. I mean, you see 500 as vote cast. If you go to a place like uh, Obu, Otoko, Okono Naro, or what they call it, vote accredited is 10. Look at the vote the government is calling. 927. 10 accredited. Score. 927. This is madness. You don't declare me as an election. If you accept it, the people who don't believe in elections, what in the world is in our own this dog? Here, no accreditation at all. And what is the vote is called? 750. People, you know, people are called criminals, gathered and concocted figures, and force it to be announced. You can't call it election. It's a crime scene. Both the collection officers and those who are involved in this by now are supposed to be arrested in any decent country. You go to the summer to Kobo, 012. Vote accredited is 83. What are they scoring? 459. And the last one from the same uh, Otoko, 007 playing it in Obo, I created voters in 73. They are scoring 599. So how did I say that he beat anybody? Oh, so not only all of these uh, examples that you have shown here. Okay, Igwe, Oru is, Idato, the same. If you have the one from your own polling unit, whether your polling unit is available. No, no, I'm pulling it because they know that definitely have that capacity to quell those, some of those madness. In my own point, even after voting, they refuse to transmit. We have to pin them down and force them to transmit. That's why I was able to deliver my own unit. What is in the IRM? Yes, so it's correct. It's correct. It's correct. Because I heard them. What about uh, Georgia? The other areas, they, they, they didn't allow uh, voting to take a lot of blood. So the point I'm trying to make... We federal constituents. Yes, as well. I showed you in our... Uh, and these ones, I don't know you were doing my brother. Yes, now look at, look at here. This is uh, Izuoko like Ward 1. Where you have, yes, where you have uh, 323 as the total number of registered voters. They say 320 came out. There's about four people we know that have died, yes. So you can see that this thing is just cooked up figures that doesn't have any basis. And in that one, only one person came out for accreditation. Because these are where you have most of the activities of your soldiers. Oh, one person came out. Now, what is the vote they recorded they scored? They scored 275. So what I'm saying is that if this is a decent society, First of all, you don't you know, all have declared those of them are winner. What you need to do, going by the provision of the letter, was to recalculate. Recalculate yeah, it. But, but that would be if there were protests. There was protests. No, people that were even protesting, you saw them inside the collection center. You saw talks inside the collection center, beating both labor and PDV and throwing them out. Yes. It is not saw it physically. It is not at the state collection center that the protests should start. The protests started from the most collection center. Because, 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 because this is a governorship election. Yes. The first place you go to for collision is the world, yes. for polling units. Yes. It is assumed that at yeah, the polling units, party agents will be given the yes. copies of the results. And so you may not have complaints at that, except if what they give you yes. is apparently not what happened. Yes. So agents may not have problems with polling units. Yes. But by the time you leave the polling unit, you already have a complete, you already have one result from yes. that polling unit. Yes. And that result has also been uploaded yes. to the RF. So by the time you are moving to the world, you already have two results. Yes. Two in the sense that you have the hard copy that was given to you at that polling unit. Yes. And you have the copy that was uploaded. Yes. So you have something to compare what you have uh -huh. with. So it is when you do the comparison, and then there's a problem uh -huh. that you raise it at the world. So, the point of the first point of agitation actually should be the word. Those things that you just showed us, yes. were they raised at the first point of I know saying that which is if, the if there was an election yes. in the first place, then you don't have the chance to be raising this. What you have with all the respect was an unbroken operation. What do they call it an unbroken operation? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. When you so, catch the robbers, you no, catch no, them. No, 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 let me tell you, when you go to the polling unit, for instance. 70% of those polling units do not receive the materials. Like you go to Arundi Zog, Ayeme Ward, Ndimuko 1, Izog Ward 1, Izog Ward 2, they took the entire materials. They did not get to the world of before you talk about voting and raising objections. So there were no results of polling units to... In Akwapa, South India, and allocated figures. That is why you see, the people's machine will be showing you one. Are you getting me? Why the total vote cast is almost over 200 and something? There was no voting in those places. Then in fully units where there was voting, they took them. In some of them, the INS staff would tell that they're under instruction not to transmit, that they must take it to the local government uh, headquarters. When they reach to the local government headquarters, they use the already prepared resolution to upload. And that is why you see most of the retains that were uploaded, if you go to the server right now, their accreditation is far, far below to the result which the person was declared winner. Showing you that this resource was just filled up and uploaded, and they did it deliberately. They didn't want to care about accreditation. 
some of them did not even know that the, 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 the IRF have improved that even when you transmit fake result, the machine automatically puts in the generated figure of accreditation. That they didn't know. If they had known, they wouldn't have done this kind of mad work. Because before, in the last election, the, the, the IRF did not have the accredited figures automatically popping up from the beaver onto the server. But in this election, the total number accredited in that machine, mm. the machine sends it separate mm. to the server. Mm. Different from what you are transmitting. That's what you see now. The other chairman alluded to the fact that there is a surprise. Probably a surprise. You guys should keep deceiving yourself, keep lamenting, keep fooling yourself because you are actually disgracing yourself. People are looking at you. You can see that this thing is not working. Why are you still believing in it? Tomorrow still you will still come out to, to vote and you still come out to lament because you don't you don't know that Nigeria is is is, is a scam, fraudulent country. Eh? Why are you joining them when you know you cannot meet up? So you keep being follow, 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 follow to the end of your life. What kind of slavery mentality is that? What, who has actually done this to these people? Intelligent people but behaving like fools. Unbelievable.